Terminal 5. T5 at Singapore's Changi Airport isn't just another airport terminal. It's basically a small city with a boarding pass, designed to handle 50 million passengers a year. Because apparently the sky isn't the limit, it will push Changi's total capacity to over 140 million. Yes, that's more than twice Japan's population. Built on reclaimed land with smart tech, green design, and a serious love for travelers, T5 is set to open in the mid-2030s. Think of it as the airport of the future, just with fewer delays and way more bragging rights. Why Terminal 5? Despite already being regarded as one of the finest airports in the world, famous for its greenery, seamless services, and innovative architecture, Singapore recognized that standing still in the rapidly evolving aviation sector was not an option. The Asia-Pacific region has emerged as the fastest growing air travel market on the planet, with passenger traffic projected to double by 2040. Competitors such as Bangkok, Seoul, and Dubai are rapidly scaling up their airport infrastructures, and Singapore faced the urgent challenge of staying ahead. To respond, Singapore launched the Changji East development in 2013, a national mega project aimed at future-proofing its position as a leading global air hub. Terminal 5 is the centerpiece of this effort. More than just a new building, it represents a complete rethinking of airport functionality, resilience, and scale. The terminal is being designed not just for the present, but for a future filled with increasing travel demand, technological disruptions, and potential global shocks. An airport terminal the size of a town, Terminal 5 will be a giant in every sense. Spanning more than 1,080 hectares, it will cover an area larger than 1,500 football fields. Constructed to the east of the existing airport, the site is built entirely on reclaimed land. That means the terminal is literally rising from what was once part of the sea, a feat that pushes the boundaries of modern engineering. Creating stable ground on reclaimed soil presents serious challenges. Unlike natural terrain, reclaimed land is loose, compressed and prone to shifting under weight. This means it cannot support massive structures immediately. Engineers tackled this problem using a method known as deep cement mixing. Massive drilling machines bore holes 30 to 50 meters deep and inject cement slurry into the ground, solidifying it into underground columns. These columns create an invisible but vital grid that reinforces the soil. In addition, engineers use a process called surcharging, where massive sand mounds are placed over the ground to speed up natural compression. Only after the land has stabilized can construction of the terminal itself begin. Modular design meets future flexibility. Terminal 5 is not a single monolithic structure, but a collection of three separate sub-terminals, T5A, T5B, and T5C. Each of these buildings is fully operational on its own, allowing Changi Airport to operate them flexibly. In the event of another pandemic or a sudden drop in air traffic, one or more of these sections can be closed without disrupting the entire system. This kind of adaptability is rare among airports worldwide, and it represents Singapore's commitment to future-proofing. Inside, the architecture breaks away from conventional airport design. Rather than a single box-like hangar, Terminal 5 will feature a flowing, curved roof structure with large overlapping sections. Skylights will be built into the roof, allowing daylight to flood into the terminal during the day and reducing dependence on artificial lighting. The design isn't just beautiful, it's energy-efficient and passenger-friendly. The roof will also be fitted with solar panels, turning the entire structure into a source of renewable energy that will help meet the terminal's electricity needs. Smarter, faster, seamless travel and efficiency is at the heart of Terminal 5's layout. Every part of the terminal is being designed to minimize wait times and maximize convenience. From the moment a passenger steps off a plane to the time they leave the airport, the entire process is aimed to take no more than 30 minutes. For travelers transferring between flights, the goal is a total journey time of less than 60 minutes. To achieve this, the terminal will rely heavily on advanced technology. Facial recognition systems will streamline immigration immigration and boarding processes. Real-time crowd monitoring will help allocate staff and adjust operations dynamically based on actual passenger movement. Even the layout of security lines, gates, and corridors has been tested with computer simulations to ensure optimal flow and eliminate bottlenecks. Every design choice reflects a deep understanding of how to move millions of people quickly and comfortably. A train inside the terminal. Because of its enormous size, Terminal 5 will include its own dedicated train system to transport passengers 
passengers and staff between its various sub-terminals. This isn't an upgrade to the existing SkyTrain, but a brand new internal transit network. Fully automated and driverless, the system is designed specifically to handle the immense scale of T5. Externally, the terminal will be connected to two major mass rapid transit lines, the current Thompson East Coast Line and the upcoming Cross Island Line. These connections will give travelers direct and rapid access to downtown Singapore. In the future, passengers may also be able to switch seamlessly to the Johor Bahru Singapore Rapid Transit System, enabling cross-border travel to Malaysia with minimal transfers. A high-tech highway for bags. Terminal 5 is set to introduce a new standard in baggage handling. The current system at Terminals 1 through 3 uses underground conveyors, which can lead to congestion, especially during peak hours. T5 will implement a rooftop-based system that operates above the terminals, completely bypassing the ground-level bottlenecks. This high-speed baggage network will be capable of transporting up to 2,000 bags per hour between terminals. Each piece of luggage will carry an RFID chip that gives it a unique digital identity, allowing real-time tracking from check-in to departure. A new early storage facility will allow up to 10,000 bags to be stored for extended periods before flights. Perfect for long-haul passengers arriving well ahead of schedule. The system is designed for flexibility and resilience, reflecting the unpredictability of modern air travel. Automation everywhere. Automation will be embedded in nearly every operational layer of Terminal 5. Driverless electric buses will shuttle staff between terminals and maintenance zones. Cleaning robots will keep floor spotless, service toilets, and deliver supplies. On the airfield, smart parking systems powered by AI and visual sensors will guide aircraft into gates with extreme precision, removing the need for human marshals. The system will also detect any delays in ground operations like fueling, catering, or cleaning, allowing supervisors to take immediate action before these issues cause further disruptions. This kind of predictive management is essential in maintaining operational punctuality at such a large and busy terminal. Built for the air aircraft of tomorrow. Terminal 5 is being designed with the future of aviation in mind. New aircraft like the Boeing 777X, which is longer, wider, and heavier than the Airbus A380, require reinforced infrastructure. To support these new flying giants, the terminal's taxiways and aircraft stands are being built with deep layers of concrete, thick asphalt, and denser steel reinforcements. Currently, about one-third of Changi's 189 aircraft stands have already been upgraded to handle next-generation planes. Additional remote stands, parking bays away from terminal gates, are being constructed to further expand the airport's capacity without the need for more gates. These stands will be serviced by shuttle buses and will help accommodate fluctuations in flight traffic efficiently. Green by design. Sustainability is not an afterthought but a driving principle in the design of Terminal 5. The entire roof of the terminal will be equipped with solar panels to provide renewable energy. Rainwater harvesting systems will collect and filter water runoff off for use in cooling systems, toilets, and landscaping. High-performance glass and shading devices will help reduce the amount of heat entering the building, lowering the cooling load and cutting down on energy consumption. The terminal's HVAC system will use sensors to adjust airflow and cooling output based on real-time passenger density. Specific ventilation zones can be isolated in case of emergencies, including disease outbreaks, making the terminal not only efficient but also adaptable in the face of unexpected public health concerns. The digital brain behind it all. Changi Airport's Advanced Digital Control Center will serve as its operational nerve center, monitoring everything in real time, from flight arrivals and weather to baggage flow and restroom cleanliness. Powered by AI, it can predict traffic surges, recommend actions like opening more immigration counters, and respond instantly to emergencies such as lightning on the tarmac. A key feature is its digital twin, a live virtual replica of the airport that lets operators test changes and simulate scenarios scenarios before implementing them, ensuring smarter, more agile responses. And that wraps up our deep dive into Singapore's jaw-dropping Terminal 5, an airport so futuristic it feels like it belongs in a sci-fi movie. If you found this video insightful, make sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.